Comet elliptical orbits are often considered one of the mysteries. In cosmic phenomena, Halley's Comet visits the solar system approximately every 76 years, and its orbit appears remarkably stable. Comets orbit the Sun in elongated elliptical paths, at perihelion closest to the Sun. Their speed dramatically increases, while at aphelion farthest, it slows down. This is explained by Johannes Kepler's second law, the law of equal areas. According to this law, the line, connecting the comet and the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal times. Therefore, in the narrow part of the orbit, perihelion, speed increases to maintain the area, and in the wide, part aphelion, it decreases. We can use the analogy of ocean waves. As a wave rises, the surface area decreases, accelerating the speed in similar fashion to the comet's speed increase at perihelion. When the wave reaches its peak, the area can't shrink further, so energy disperses, returning to a calm surface. This process repeats as the existence of the ocean as a field. The field maintains energy balance, enabling sustained cycles rather than one-off motions. The field what I think is not mere space. In the micro world, quantum fields or electromagnetic fields, sustain motion in the macro world, gravitational fields do. A comet's orbit arises from this field's balance, with harmonious energy distribution being key, rather than force-centered. This suggests shifting from force-centered thinking to principles of balance and fields. Nature achieves sustained cycles through these principles, but human artificial creations find it hard to mimic. Applying these principles could inspire designs for sustainable energy systems.